Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks and you're checking out a quick tip tutorial on ADSR sounds. So this is what I'm lumping into, I would call, especially for EDM producers, a mixing essential tip and trick. I've done a couple of these tutorials and I wanted to share this one with you or this specific technique because I think it's really awesome and I haven't seen a lot of tutorials or even any really uh, form discussion about this. So it all centers around, <laughs> centers around, um, mono compatibility. A lot of EDM producers and DJs will struggle with getting a good mix that sounds good in stereo and also good in mono. So a lot of soft synths and things like uh, you know Serum and Spire and Silent, they're all stereo instruments. And what that means is you're going to have a lot of stereo sources in your mix, which stereo can introduce uh, phase issues and you can have negative phase or, or anti-phase and a correlation meter towards negative one. And that means that when you go to a mono environment, things aren't going to sound as good, punchy and loud, and you may actually lose some of the sounds. So what, what, that, what a lot of producers will do is they will combat that by mixing in mono and doing things like the bass in mono, the kick in mono, and even some of the leads and, and elements of the mix in mono. Well, there's a way that you can kind of have your cake and eat it too. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And it all centers around using a plugin that is a stereo imaging plugin, but I'm using it to actually make my signals more mono, if that's even a thing, which it technically isn't. But I'm actually narrowing the stereo image, which helps with the phase. So let's play this little track right here, uh, this little section of the track where I have, um, I'm going to pull up a multimeter. All right, you get the idea. So I'm zoomed in on the automation right now on three of these stereo tracks in the section that I just played for you. And this green automation in Logic, that's what this DAW is, it has a theme, if you're wondering why it looks different. But it, I, I have this pan where one is panning in a negative direction, one's panning in a positive direction, happening at different times. So it creates a nice stereo feel with the, with the kind of, it's playing off of the envelope shape with the pad. All right, so that wouldn't that wouldn't be a very good mono. Um, it wouldn't be a very good mono compatible element of the mix. You can see that I'm actually well now that I'm talking, but it's actually in the red, right? Okay, which red's bad, so it means it won't be compatible in mono. Now I have this Serum electric guitar pluck, and it is a stereo track because Serum is a stereo software instrument instrument like a lot of soft synths are. And I have a stereo delay on it, which I really like. And that's what you see in the automation right here. So if I bounce that to mono, which I, which I have right here, we'll solo this. Uh, we're going to hear that it just doesn't sound as full. So it'd be great for a mono environment, but there's a certain element of that delay that I like ping-ponging in the stereo field that I'm not going to get with that mono source. So enter in the Waves Stereo Imager. Now, if you don't have the Waves S1 Imager, do not worry. There are other stereo imaging plugins that have the same tool or same uh, application. You just need to have a stereo imaging plugin that allows you to narrow the width of the signal. Now, most stereo imaging plugins are associated with making things wider. <laughs> I like to use them to make things more narrow. So let's look at this real quick. So We'll actually look at it at the Serum electric guitar plug. So let's pull up my multimeter and we can see the phase correlation occurring here. All right, so the lowest it got was where my mouse is right now, which this is moving towards the negative phase, negative one, which would be bad for mono compatibility. So I'm gonna put my pinky there on the screen. And now let me turn on my imaging plugin and I'm going to bring my mouse back to that general point. And now let's play it and see if it dips that low. All right, as you can see, it did not dip as low as it did before. Now, it's still a stereo track by all means, but the phase is better. Now, if you apply this on a few tracks in the mix, it really adds up and it really can help keep your big stereo field for stereo listeners 
and it can also make your mono compatibility much better. So let's look at what's going on here. Now this is a very basic plugin. It uh, will recall that I guess we'll do full reset. So it basically allows you to, most people use this to widen the source sound. Right, so the phase is gonna be awful right now. So that's how most people use this plugin, but you can use it to actually narrow the field. Like I said, there are other plugins that do this. So that the way I had it on the Serum Pluck when I played it for you, uh, I had it at about 0.60. So it starts out by default at, at one. So this isn't that big of a change, but it, it will add up over time in the mix. So let's put this on my the pad track that we have. We have these two pad tracks right here, right? And we're gonna dial this back to about 0.50 to make it more narrow. And we're gonna do that for both of the pad tracks that are panned out left and right, so 0.50. And now let's see how bad the phase gets or if it's improved. All right, so it's obviously better. Like I said, this is a subtle effect that will add up in the context of the mix. So right now I have it on, let's get it back on the electric guitar as well, that electric guitar plug. So now it's on three things in my verse section of this little track. And now these are stereo, but they're cleaned up in a mono sense. So let's, look, let's solo these together and see how the phase is. So I didn't go in the red. Without the imager on the pad tracks, I would go into the red. So again, three stereo tracks, uh, some admittedly uh, f f kind of phasey issues occurring with the pad tracks. I did that on purpose for this tutorial. But now when I bring in the mono elements, like the bass, which is going to be mono, right? Anyway, I bring in the acoustic guitars, which are mono. The phase correlation meter is going to be quite, it's going to lean quite high to positive one. So yeah, there's a cool tip and trick to make your tracks a little bit more mono compatible, but still keep things nice and wide, especially when you're using effects like stereo delays and interesting pannings and things like that. It will allow you to make your tracks sound good in both stereo and mono. Obviously this does not replace mixing certain elements in mono, but you can use this as a creative tool to say, okay, this is a really important synth sound or or, you know, element of my mix. I want this in stereo. I really don't want to go to mono. Throw on an imaging plugin and dial back the width. And like I said, there are a bunch of imaging plugins out there. Check them out. It's not just the Waves one. That's just the one that I own. So I am using it. All right, guys, so that sums up this video. Like I said, I am Echo Soundworks. If you have any comments or questions, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.